This is part two in how to solve the Skew Ultimate. In part one, you learned the general method, the notation, and how to do the first step, which is solving one centerpiece and the four corners around it. Now you'll be moving on to the second step, which is putting this center, one center, and the opposite center in its correct spot. Now as you'll see, this is obviously in its correct spot, because it matches up here, here, and here. So now you want to focus on the back here. This has purple right here, and the piece with purple could be here, 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 or here, in any of the remaining four positions. If it's on the top, then you have an easy case. If it's here, you have an easy case. But if it's in one of these two, you will need an extra algorithm, or a variation of the one algorithm. So if it's on top, then you just need to do this algorithm that I will be teaching you once. Holding it like this, with a centerpiece in front of you, and two centers on the right that you don't care about, and the solved center on the back, you will do an R prime L R L prime. And that will put it in its correct spot. Even if it's flipped 180, it's still in its correct spot. Now, even if you don't already, already have one, then you can still do this. Now, I will scramble up my scoop ultimate a little bit. and show you right from the beginning what you need to do. So step two, you've gotten these four in, and now you want to put one of these centerpieces, any of the four. I'll move this out of the way. Any of the four. So first you can check to see if you already have any. Does purple go here? It's not here. Teal goes here. It's not here. Yellow goes here. It's not. And silver goes here, and it's not. This is gold. So what you want to do is look on the top, at the top center, and see where this centerpiece goes. This piece goes right here. So then you just want to do the algorithm, R prime, L, R, L prime. Now it's in its correct spot. Even though the two purples don't match up, it's still in its correct spot. Now if you wanted to turn it so it was in its correct spot, it wouldn't make much of a difference. But if you wanted to, you can just do that algorithm three more times. One, two... Oh, just do it two more times, sorry. Just two. And it'll get into its correct spot. In this case, this piece is now also in its correct spot, which means that these three pieces need to be switched. And I will show you how to fix this, how to fix this somewhat parity case, if you would like to call it that. You take the two that are solved and put them on the left and back, and then the one that you solved first is still on the bottom. You bring the bottom to the front, like this, this is the one you solved first, so now your three that, that are solved already are right here. And then you turn it to the right ones, like this. So now the three that you need to switch are right here. And you do that algorithm... Um, you do that algorithm three times, but instead of doing R prime L, you start with the L prime, and you go from there. So here, it would, when you look at it like this, it would be going like this. But I turn it so it's easier to perform, and it's going to look like this. You want to do it three times total. Now doing that, if I turn it back so my centerpiece is on the bottom, has solved this one, kept the back one solved, and then messed up the other ones. And that is the completion of step two, getting two opposite centerpieces. Once again, I will show you. If this piece needs to go in here, ignore that these are solved. If this piece needs to go in here, you do R prime L R L prime. And that will put it into its correct spot. And then you can do the back one, which is R prime L R L prime, and you're solved there. Now in this case, I skipped the third step, so I but I will mess it up a little just to show you. Okay, once again, the, this is the last time I'm going to show you solving the, la the two centers for step two. One is solved. Now I want to solve this one, but the piece is right here. So using that algorithm that I showed you, we'll just keep switching it back and forth. So you want to turn it like this and do the algorithm that I showed you earlier three times.
and that brought it to here. If it brings it to here, or here, if it brings it to here, then you just need to turn it back and do the regular algorithm. But if it brings it to here, keep it in its turned state and do that algorithm three times once more. So now those two are in their correct spot. Now we'll move on to step three, which is getting this center, this center, and this center in their correct spot. Now this will still use that first algorithm. First you need to find out where the top piece goes. This top piece has white and purple. This is purple right here, so this piece needs to go down here. Even though these two on the sides are solved, I want to use that regular algorithm that I showed you already. R prime L R L prime. Just do it once. This one will go into its correct spot, and these two that were solved are now flipped. Now you want to turn the cube 180 degrees, like this. So your solves, your first center is still on the bottom, and do the algorithm one more time. Now, this is back into its correct spot, and so is this one. The back one is still in its correct spot, and these two are also in their correct spot. So now you are done with putting the centers in their correct spot, and you can move on to the top corners. Now with the top corners, unlike the normal cube where you only have one top color, now you have two top colors. You have magenta, and you have chrome gold. So what you want to do is look at your corners. You can have one of three cases. The first case, and the easiest one, is where you either have magenta or gold on the top of the four corners. The top is right here, these four, not none of these side ones. If you have magenta or gold on the top of these four pieces, then you're solved and you can skip this step. But then there are two other cases. You can have all four of them without magenta or gold, which is the second easiest one, like I have here, or you can have the one with only one gold and one magenta, two golds and no magenta, or two magenta and no golds, meaning only two of the pieces are flipped correctly. So in this case, with all four of them down, the second easiest case, you want to ma make it so one of the colors is on the front right, one of them is on the back right, and then the other two are on the left side like this. And you want to do that R prime L, R L prime algorithm twice. R prime L, R L prime, R prime L, R L prime. Now it will probably mess up your centers. These these three may be messed up, like t flipped 180, but now all of your top corners are solved, and you can move on to the last step. Now, what do you do if you have two of them up? Two of them is not this, so I'll do it one more time. When you have two of them face up, huh. Like this. I have one magenta, I have one gold, and then I have a red and a pink. These two aren't, but these two are. So that is what I was talking about with only two of them face up. Now I will show you this exact same case with two up like this on a regular cube. On this cube, two of them are face up. And what you want to do is hold it, hold your cube ultimate as if it were a cube like this with one of the colors that needs to go on the top on the right front and the other one on the back left, right up here. Because with this, you just do the, with holding it like this, you do the R prime, L prime, R, L prime, R prime, L prime, R, L prime, and then it will get you to this case, where you can just turn it and then solve it normally. So when you're holding it like this, put the two that are on top correctly in the front left and back right and check on your right side here. Is this gold or magenta? No, it isn't. So you want to turn the cube 180, and now there's magenta there, and there's gold on the back here. And you want to do the R prime L, R L prime algorithm twice. R prime L, R L prime, R prime L, R L prime. And now you have all four of them oriented not correctly. You put two of them, the two co top colors here, and on the left here, and do the algorithm twice again. And now you can click the link at the bottom of the video, or in the description to your right, and you will be taken to the last step, 
which is orienting the centerpieces correctly.